Subscribe to Andrio Tech and press the bell icon to get our latest videos. Hi guys, in this video, I will be showing you the installation of the Resurrection Remix version 5.85 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now, first let's check out the Android version of this ROM. As you can see, the Android version is Android 7.1.2, that is Nougat. Now let's check out the camera of this ROM. The camera is very stable and the shutter speed is also very good. Now let me show you the image quality. You can also zoom and take pictures, it comes very good. Now let's check out the music player of this ROM. The music player is also very good and it's fine and there are no bugs as you can see there are no bugs in it now let's check out the S Pen is working or not as you know that these ROMs do not get the air command with them but the S Pen is working fine on this ROM now let me show you the other things which you get with this ROM you get a tab called the configurations here you have many customizations such as the status bar customization here also you get the panels customizations recent customizations lock screen customizations you can also enable gestures animations and many much things now i will make a, another video for these customizations Now let's move on to the installation of the ROM. Now to install this ROM you have to boot into your recovery. Now if you don't know how to boot into your recovery manually, press the power button, the volume up button and the home key at the same time. This will take you to your recovery. Now once you are into your recovery, before installing the ROM, you have to wipe and then go to advanced wipe and wipe Dalvik system data and cache and then swipe to wipe. Once you are done with this, go back. Now let me focus. Go back and then you can go to your installation of the ROM. My ROM is on a USB drive, so I will install it from there. Now, select your ROM. First, you have to flash the ROM. The installation of this ROM may not take much time because it is a very small ROM. After the installation of the ROM is completed, go back and flash the Google Apps that is the gaps. All the links of these gaps and the ROM will be provided in the link in the description below. Now once the gaps are being installed, go back and select the reboot option and reboot your system. Now once again the first boot may take up to 2-3 to three minutes.
Now as you can see my ROM is booted up and the welcome screen has been shown. Now let me complete my setup. Select any launcher of your choice, I will select the pixel launcher. Now as you can see we have successfully booted up the ROM and it's quite fast and stable. Now if you want a video on how to customize this ROM, please comment in the description below and if you like the video please hit the like button below this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.